we're gonna head into the backyard and collect some pierogies. There's two different kinds. There's sea pierogies and tree pierogies. Sea pierogies are soft and have a nice salty finish, whereas tree pierogies are But no judgment. You suck at cooking, yeah you totally suck. Alright, so we're gonna take our haul, remove any debris. We're gonna make these pierogies with a shell on. Put on some gloves for protection. We're gonna take each pierogi and make a small incision. You can see this one, it's a bit pale. It obviously has BSD, which is barbecue sauce deficiency. So we're gonna take 30 cc's of barbecue sauce, inject that straight into the pierogi. You can see they're already looking much healthier. See, this guy looks mildly depressed. We'll take 38 cc's of hot sauce. This guy looks like he could benefit from some hot mustard. For this, we'll use a standard size rectal syringe. We'll slide that in there. Just get that mustard. Oh, it looks like we blew a hole at the back. No one said this was gonna be easy. We're just gonna baste these with olive oil. Now if you put a little color in your olive oil, it helps you to keep track of which pierogies you've basted already. Kind of looks like Starry Night. I really didn't need to use this many colors. I could have just used one or, or zero. Might have been a good amount. Now you always want to warm up your barbecue before you start. So we're creating a three zone fire here. Zone one is in the direct flame. Zone two, just off the flame. And then we're gonna create a third zone over here. This is about 10 meters from the heat source and they're facing away so that they don't cook by placebo. No. Getting some nice grill marks in here, which obviously makes the pierogies manly or ouch, that's hot. You can see that one's detoxing a bit. You can uh, move these up top once they start to get done. Um, our one in the second zone needs a little bit more time and let's go check on the third zone. We'll find that, oh, these are burnt. I forgot, there's a second uh, heat source that burns at around uh, 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So these were out here just a little bit too long in the third zone. All right, let's see how this worked here. I'm gonna say this is probably a waste of time and you should probably just dip them. And there's a reason no one has thought about this before now, and that's because it's a bad idea. Oh, look it, this one actually turned out really well. Yeah, I take it back, it's a great idea. Another thing you can do is take some thin wire and brand your pierogi. I just went with the word no. Another thing you can do is slice it open and take some meat, some tomatoes, sour cream, salsa, and some lettuce. And you've got a delicious paraco. Damn, that's a good paraco. Another thing you can do is remove the top. Body of Christ. Amen. Take out a little bit of the filling, spoon in a little tomato sauce, cheese, and some pepperoni. Let's just pretend we bake that. And then you get a little pizza. And damn, that's a good pizza. Another thing you can do, throw in a little hot dog, mustard. Then you've got a prog dog, not to be confused with prog rock. Damn, that's a good prog dog. Another thing you can do, throw some tomato sauce in a pot, throw in some pierogies, and you've got raviogis. Damn, that's a good raviogi. I just like to apologize to whatever culture that pierogies come from, but not really, because this is just so good. Mm. In the darkness of your mind, in the kitchen of the night, in the cupboard of your heart, that's where you'll find Pogba.